What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Griff, and you know what it is. Hop in that passenger seat, hit that subscribe button, definitely hit that thumbs up like button, and let's roll. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Sunday update, and it looks like the Z06 may have had a little work done. Check this out. So the Z06 gets an upgraded transmission. Hmm, I wonder why. The revised version of the TR9080 transmission. If you guys are all aware, there's an inherent issue with the stock C8 TR9080. Okay, there's a lot of people having issues right now. Okay, this newer version of the transmission will feature an upgraded clutch pack for increased torque capacity, along with the strengthened casing to handle larger lateral loads. The Bell's housing was also redesigned to accommodate a larger oil sump allowing Chevy to ship the Z06 with track-ready oil levels. Now, as I mentioned, people have been having issues with this transmission, and since it's so random, I'm not sure I'm totally convinced on the root cause at this point. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Stingray has more torque than the Z06. The Stingray has a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that produces 490 horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque, 495 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds with the Z51 performance package, paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The Z06 has a naturally aspirated dual overhead cam 5.5 liter V8 with a flat plane crankshaft it produces 670 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. It routes all that power through the 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, but it has a shorter final drive ratio. Now, with that being said, and the existing issues that the CA transmission is having, perhaps they should be upgrading the Stingray transmission as well for 2023. Who knows? Anyway, let's get to a couple updates. So there's no Z06 order updates at the moment, right? Because there's still no pricing, all right? Stingray production was halted. We all know that for a week. So production of the 2022s resumed this week with the production of the 2023 starting the week of May 16. Okay, I think we all knew that stuff. We we're familiar with the delays. But listen, let me tell you guys what's really going on. This is just more or less my speculation. And I only know this stuff because I work in an area of business that deals with products, right? What's going on right now is what they call speed to market, okay? What is speed to market? Speed to market refers to the speed by which you're able to establish a business presence through your product or service. This can be considered an effective strategy and marker of success, okay? What's going on right now, guys, is we all got swept up in the hoopla of that reveal. So when they did that reveal back in October, they weren't ready to release that car. They weren't even close. They haven't even concluded the road testing and everything on that vehicle okay so we all got swept up in the hoopla okay so what they're doing is they're continuing to work on this vehicle i think they had anticipations to get it out with the stingray around the same time frames because of speed to market but they just didn't make it so they had to market the vehicle globally so that they can get that interest going and let people know that this thing is coming all right so just so you guys know when companies release a product right there's a version one and then there's a version two that comes out shortly thereafter. It could be six months or 12 months later, okay? The version two that comes out with the product is what the version one should have been, okay? They just didn't have time to get the version one out with all of the other things that were supposed to go with it, okay? I'm gonna repeat that. When you see the ver second version of a product, that is what the first version was typically supposed to be. They just ran out of time. Again, speed to market. So unfortunately, GM is probably running on a treadmill right now, trying to get the majority of these things taken care of. And then let's add in the parts that are missing and stuff like that. But trust me, these guys are running and running and running, trying to get this vehicle finished, tested, and ready for production. So at this point, we're just going to have to be a little bit more patient. All right. And lastly, I'm gonna hit you guys with a did you know. Interesting, I didn't know this myself, all right? The Chevy Corvette Z06 we will get in the US won't be the Z06 sold elsewhere around the world. Tight emissions, regulations in Europe and Australia 
Call for ac extra exhaust piping, making it difficult to fit the Z06's floating quad center exit tailpipes onto those models. Chevy needed to install gasoline particulate filters and the exhaust system just won't fit with the center exit design. That's crazy. I've seen these pictures online and I was telling people, nah, that's an E-Ray, you know, with the, with the pipes on the side like that. Had no idea. So this is all news to me, but it coincides with what I just said. As you guys can see, this product, there's a lot that goes into it. And just globally, right? They're trying to introduce things on a global platform. So here is just another example of where complications set in and changes that need to be made. So they are just not ready. So unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer on the Z06. All right. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Like the video. Let's promote the information. And I'll catch you guys next week.